Yo, screen flowers, YouTubers, video producers, welcome back to combocasting.com. I'm continuing to explore ScreenFlow 4. There's a lot of new features to talk about, but the one we're gonna look at today is called nested clips. The best way to understand nested clips is to show you an example of how it can be used in a real situation. In this video here, I'm working on a title sequence, an intro and an outro for a new series that I'm redeveloping for an older site. We've used this example before. So let's just run through it and I'll show you what I've got so far. I have a Keynote recording, which is where the table comes in. I did that in Keynote and recorded it and I did the titles in ScreenFlow, as you can see here. In fact, these titles, I put them at zero opacity and added a video action to make them uh, appear on screen. Let's look at that. All right, so this is my intro. I'm going to be using this same sort of style for an outro too. So what I'd normally do is copy all of this title work, paste it at the end, edit the titles, and then I could work in between the section for the content of my videos. All right, so as we're running through this, you can see how tall and busy your timeline can get. So, of course, one of the best uh, features of nested clips is that you can nest all of these into one timeline. So let's do that with just the titles here right now. So I'm gonna hold down my command key, select all of these, and as you can see in the video, they've been uh, highlighted. So I'm going to right click and do nest clips. And we'll see that the nested clips play exactly the same as when they were separate. Okay, so as you can see, the timeline is much cleaner and neater looking. But one of the things about nest, a nested clip, especially if you're using it as a title sequence, is that you can copy. I've just pressed Command C. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do Command V. All right, so now I have another version of it. And here it comes again. So I've just collected that one nested clip. So here I'm going to rename this opening. Here I'm going to rename this closing. So what ScreenFlow 4 does is allows you to go into the nested clip itself by double clicking it. And as you can see, we now have two tabs. This is my main timeline, and this is the timeline for that nested clip, and it's the closing clip. So I can actually play this clip by itself, just to edit it. So instead, here in this video, I'm just going to say, here, let's uh, zoom that up. I'm just going to say, in the next video, and I could go through all of these titles and change it you know, to the content that I'm having in my next video and use that as an outro. But that's really not germane to this video, so we don't really have to do that. But as you can see, by going into the nested clips, I can edit the content in there. So I'm done with that. I'm gonna close that, and it's still there, of course, but as you can see, now it says in the next video. So that helps with organization. You don't necessarily have to use this for intro and outro clips. You can use it for you know, a cluster of effects that you happen to have in your video. Maybe they show up several times in your video timeline. Nice to just copy and paste and maybe make some minor edits. For text and titling, I really feel that nested clips is gonna be a valuable tool. Now I wanna show you one more hidden gem about nested clips that you can use in your combo cast to really sort of explode the potential of titling, graphics, 3D effects, things like that. You can actually add effects to a nested clip as a group. Now we saw before that I have video effects on each of these text timeline. However, ScreenFlow 4 allows you to put in a new video action over top of the video actions or effects that are already in there. You've got to see this because this is really powerful. So right now, while these titles are appearing, I'm going to add a video action to my nested timeline. I'm sort of turning it, I'm sort of turning it sideways, scaling it up a bit. Okay, let's, okay, let's play that. Okay. 
Okay, that looked pretty simple, I admit, but let me tell you that one feature can explode your creativity in titling, in graphics, and effects, because essentially, nested clips allows you now to double up on the effects and have them overlapping. All right. Let's just uh, work on that as an effect, because since I had it moving, that floating effect that we have discussed before. Add a video action. Add a video action. Okay, let's sort of stretch these out. We'll give a bit of a floating effect here. Ah, you see, there you go. So now I'm able to add a group effect to all of those titles, layered upon the original video effect that I had, and so we've got a background fade in and then we have a foreground floating effect. So we've kind of created like a 3D effect there. When I figured out I was able to do this in ScreenFlow 4, my heart started pumping. I love this. I'm going to be exploring it more and we'll do some more layered effects with the nested clips in some future videos. But I wanted to introduce that to you. What I'm going to ask you to do is just play around with that with your creativity see what you can come up with and post a video response below here so we can have sort of a group discussion of how creative those layered effects can be used in ScreenFlow. I'm really interested to see what you come up with and I'm gonna post another video to show you what I came up with as well. ScreenFlow 4, some real power behind that shit. Let's get working on it. Take care, talk to you soon. Ciao.